Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to a monthly mech review. That's right, the monthly mech review. This is where we're going to talk about what's going to happen over the next month in MechWarrior Online, um, and what's going on. So, the big news, obviously, from the Town Hall and all that stuff, is that on the 19th of April, which is almost two weeks to today, um, the new Community Warfare phase, phase 3, phase 3.5, whatever you want to call it, uh, faction play beta patch whatever um, is going to be released. That's going to have the big thing is going to be there's going to be a complete UI change. So everything here on this screen is apparently going to be modified, changed, and, and tweaked a little bit um, in conjunction with all this. Um, there's also going to be the new 4v4 uh, version of the game being played as well, which my unit I know personally is looking forward to uh, a lot. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to it, making a lot of money and, and having a lot of fun. Um, there's no mech out coming out this month, though this month the Highlander, and I believe... Uh, let's see, yeah, the Highlander is going to be available for C-Bills as of the 5th, as of today. and the, Or, sorry, no, the Highlander 2C will be available for C-Bills as of today, um, as of later today as well. Uh, the Warhammer will be available for for uh, for MC. So the Highlander 2C uh, C bill price for the Highlander 2C itself, it's going to be uh, 9.6 million. For the A, it's going to be 10. Point, uh, basically 10 million. Uh, the B is going to be 9.4 million, and the C is going to be 12.6 million. Uh, the Warhammer MC prices for the 6R is going to be 2,415. For the 6D, 2,350. For the 7S, 2,595, sorry. For the Black Widow, 5,250. So a little steep there on the uh, the MC price, but that's the way it's going to be. Um, obviously, the uh, M the Highlander 2CC bill price, not too bad um, with, the, with the cost. Remember, it is a basically an inner sphere mech with uh, claim weapons, so... Yeah, keep that uh, keep that as you will. Um, other than that, they still haven't released a uh, a, a roadmap as of what exactly they're doing this month in the month of April. Um, mainly because they're so busy apparently with Community Warfare Phase Three. Um, with that, it's also going to come some changes to the RPPCs. Um, there's going to be a rescaling coming up in the next couple months as well, and you know the usual little tweaks and fixes and all that stuff. But this month, um, the main thing that's going to be happening is the 19th with the patch, and um, well, phase four, uh, or phase three, sorry, but with the specifically the four v four. So that's pretty much it for this month. Um, usually, I go on for a good 20, 30 minutes uh, about what the plan is. Usually, there's at least two patches. Um, Fortunately, I don't have much information. They haven't released much other than one video for Community Warfare as to what it's going to be like and what it's kind of kind of look like. Um, so I'm going to repost that video that I that I have. I'm going to you know put it back up again, um, or even edit it and, and throw it back up again. But yeah, not uh, nothing too fancy right now. Just uh, yeah, Phase Four on the 19th. Phase three, sorry, I keep saying phase four. Phase three on the 19th with uh, the 4v4. Um, no new maps or anything like that being announced for this month. They are talking about they're going to be redoing um, Frozen City, I believe, um, in the next couple months. Uh, but that's not, like I said, that's not this month. This month is the uh, the Community Warfare patch, to be 100% honest with you. Um, UI change all on this screen. Um, new systems, new voting system, whole bunch of new things are going to be coming out for Community Warfare. So expect a big um, Community Warfare uh, tutorials, redo tutorials, because I'll be redoing all my tutorials for Community Warfare um, once it comes out at the end of the month. So until then, see you guys on the battlefield. Bye-bye.